we're going to talk about basic types and constants. Now, when we deal with basic types, we're talking about strings, integers, floating point numbers, booleans, things like that. And you can see from this simple example here that we're going to be outputting some values as well. An integer would be something like 22, anything that's going to deal with a whole number. And then your floating point values here, you're dealing with decimal places. You can have them in different forms. And then you have strings, of course, which we've already taken a tiny bit of a look at. And we'll take a peek at that in the basic types file in scripting basics. Well, you see, we just have some information here, some details, a string. This is a string in quotes, double or single quotes. Doesn't matter. We'll talk more about strings, but basically you put anything in between here. And for the most part, that's going to be represented literally as a string. There are really a lot of different ways that you can represent different types of, of letters and numbers and characters. And we'll talk about all the ways to format in the strings section and integers, just like I said, a whole number and you just assign it without the quotes. That's an integer. If you do put quotes around it, not a problem. It's now a string with a space in front of it of 22. So space two, two, this is also 22, but it's a string and you can convert basic types back and forth between integers and strings. We'll see that a lot, but, it doesn't matter. This is still an integer, but it's classified as a string in this representation. You can still manipulate it like it was an integer. And then we have Booleans. Just names here. These are all just names I made up. True or false. You can put it in all caps. You should put it in all caps. It can either be true or false. There are specific things that are going to be output when you output via print or echo or something like that with booleans. We'll see that and I'll explain what happens when we do that. But you don't always get the value that you're looking for when you output that. So boolean here, this, this variable, if we look at this condition here, we'll see if conditions later, but basically what you use booleans for is to see if something's true. Basically. Now we have an if statement and we use a function. This is just a function built into PHP to check whether or not this is a string. We pass in Boolean as the variable, and then it'll let us know if it's a string or not, because this will get executed. We'll see that in the other section as well. But normally Booleans would be dealing with if statements a lot. You want to test a condition, test for something being true or false and continue from there. But this is just a different example, but you get the idea. And then we're going to echo that value out there. All right. So if we take a peek at that, you can see that the Boolean has a value of one. That's because we have set it to true right there. So one is true. Zero is false. But when you output it, you see that it comes up empty. That's because this isn't going to get output. It's like no representation when we're dealing with the echo and the print. Just keep that in mind. We'll see that again, but that's just what's going to happen. One and zero, true or false. One is true, zero is false. And that's Boolean. We'll use that quite a lot. You can just change these as you want to. And it's really up to you, but this is the basics, the basic types. If you want to use a floating point number, we'll go ahead, put a decimal place, add your decimal values, go as far as you want within a certain precision, and you can express it in the scientific notation way, of, of course, with the E being the exponent. And if you're into math, then you know how that works, but this is how you can represent different floating point numbers. And that, for the most part, are the basics. You can do math now, you can test true and false conditions. Oftentimes, database values have true and false in there, and other, other concerns. And you know how to deal with strings a little bit, waiting for that big string section, and you know how to assign integer values here. Now, another condition that you need to worry about is getting the type. You want to know what type it is. And a type is just defining how that data is represented when you first assign it or when you pass another value to it, how you're assigning it. Well, there's a special function built in the PHP called get type. Now, when you work with get type, or any other function for the most part, you have a parameter list. You might have pass a string, pass a Boolean, pass this, pass that. And for these simple conditions here, we'll see more on functions later, but for these simple conditions, 
it just takes one parameter. We give this function a string and then it returns something and this is translated into a value. So when we echo it, it's translated into a value. Sort of like that dollar dollar var that we did in the declaring and assigning variables video. So what we do is we get the internal type name for the different variables that we have here. And you can see this is going to print out string or integer, etc. And that's what we have here. It is telling us what those types are. And that becomes very important if we want to deal with an integer, we want to make sure we have an integer or a number before we start doing math with it. Because like I said, you can put a string in with quotes there and then try to use it as an integer and you may or may not get the right results that you're looking for because even those characters are, are really dealing with numbers underneath everything but you get the idea if you want to know specifically that this number is an integer that's passed inside a form for example you can test for it and there are other ways to do that as well and here's the other way is int another function and this is testing if condition check out the if videos if you need more help with that if this is an int if this is an int dollar sign int then we want to add 17 to that value there to that variable plus equal is how you would do that you can have minus equals to subtract and that's instead of doing int equals int plus 17 So that's the shorthand way of doing that, like we have seen with plus plus, for example. Just another way to do it, more like the C way of doing it. So not to get too much into the if conditions because we're going to see that, but that's how that works. And now you can echo different ways. You can put a comma separated list of variables and literal strings like this, or you can put it in there like we saw in the echo and print videos. Notice that different ways to do that. So you want to take a peek at that in the other videos that I've mentioned and that's really for the most part how the different types work. The important thing to remember, the very important thing to remember is that you can change the type just by using it in a different way and we'll see that throughout the videos. When you pass data into a database for example oftentimes you might want to pass them in as strings even though they're integers. It depends on what is behind the scenes in the database and how you're going to represent things but that, for the most part, that's the basics.